So I originally wrote this, uh, this article. It grew out of a, an effort uh, that had two, two roots. One was the press report that was done by the National Academies in the mid-1990s, which addressed the whole science budget for the whole federal government. Um, and one thing we noticed in doing that report was that at the end of World War II, health research accounted for about a quarter of the dollars going into research. But by the time we did the report in the mid-1990s, it was more than half of all the research dollars were going to biomedical research. So health research had grown much faster than other kinds of research. And I um, was looking at why would that be true? Why is health research so much more popular? And I got a grant from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation to try to explain what was distinctive about health research. Just at about that same time, the NIH went through the end of a doubling that happened from 1998 to 2003. And, but since 2003, the NIH budget has gone into a period of stagnation. And in fact, it's diminished in the amount of um, uh, research funding for health research compared to other kinds of research for the last decade. And now the question is, why did that happen? And that's uh, the origin of this article. Yeah, so why would anybody care? Well, the National Institutes of Health is the source of research that's trying to solve the problems of diseases we don't know how to, to deal with now. Um, and that's what NIH has generally focused on for its uh, whole history. It also does some other things that are directly related to health, like educate the, the, the public about health risks and things like that. But its core function has been to do research on diseases that we don't know how to deal with yet, in hopes that in the future we can do that. Um, therefore, it's been really popular for people in, who are facing cancer or Alzheimer's disease or diabetes because we all don't like bad health and we would all like research that would allow future generations to have better health. So there's strong support for the health rationale behind NIH research. The other thing is that since the 1980s it's become readily apparent that federally funded research is really, really important for economic growth. And one of the fastest growing sectors of the U.S. economy has been biotechnology and the relationship to medical devices and drugs and other fast growing parts of the economy. So politicians care about jobs and wealth creation. Um, and so it's really important to understand what's the role of the NIH budget in both improving future health and in um, economic growth for the future of the United States. So two things are clear. One is that for the last decade, NIH has stopped growing as fast as it has, as it used to. Um, and the other is that it's very clear that NIH is clearly linked to how we're going to deal with disease in the future. And we all know that Alzheimer's disease and cancer are going to continue to exact a huge toll on populations not only in the United States but throughout the world. So it's a, it's a high stakes game. And if NIH is stagnant, what's going to replace it? Um, and it's also important to understand, is the fact that NIH's budget has stagnated over the last decade caused by general dysfunction of the federal government? Because nothing's working very well in the federal government anymore? Or is there something specific about biomedical research specifically that has made it less popular, less politically viable than it used to be? And I simply don't understand that, and I would love to hear back from the readers of Issues in Science and Technology about their ideas about what's happened, what changed, and why. <laughs>